with that introduction, I, I wish I had written a better speech. Uh, I graduated in 2007 from Reno High School as one of 16 National Merit Scholars. Out of that 16, three came to the University of Nevada, Reno. I can't speak for my peers, but I know the reason that I came was because of the personal attention that was being offered to me by faculty. There was the expectation that I would create close personal relationships with people in areas that I was interested in, like Dr. Ochtenberg or Dr. Ostergaard in the political science department. But with these budget cuts, you see the consolidation of programs, the elimination of staff, faculty, tenured lecturers, making it even more difficult for students to develop those kind of uh, relationships, to create relationships that also increase research, one of the fundamental tenets of the university system. I know that if I graduated today from Reno High School, I probably wouldn't come to UNR. By being able to be at this university and maintain the kind of academic standards that UNR has been responsible for, it makes it possible to bring the best and the brightest to UNR. When we eliminate the kind of programs that are necessary for that development, we eliminate the ability of students to be able to create that research, to be able to create those relationships, and develop new understanding that can only come through higher education. I also ask that we look at the programs that are being cut. That's not your responsibility, it's the university's. But because of these budget cuts, the programs are the ones that are, are used and defined for people that have been marginalized, people that are considered unimportant in the status quo. Queer and gender studies is going, philosophy is going, social work is going, nursing is going, languages are going. All of these programs are specifically designed for people that have been historically oppressed, historically ignored, or considered unimportant. When we get rid of those programs, we lose empathy for those people. We lose empathy for the people that are being oppressed, and we make it difficult to develop solutions that are going to help them in the long term. Businesses are attracted to educated people. The New York Times reported in March that the number one reason businesses come to an area is because they have highly trained and highly educated workforce. Even if we have lower taxes, we're not going to increase the amount of businesses that come to Nevada. Even if we maintain competitive pricing for businesses, we won't increase the number of businesses that come to Nevada. Green technology is drawn to education. It's drawn to a workforce that can support that business and make it possible for that business to run. I beg of you to not put power first, but to instead look to what you are responsible for, which is the maintenance of a state. Please, please don't cut our budgets. Thank you. Can you just say your name again for the record, please? It's Max Alderman. Thank you. Okay, guys.